incredibly hard to get over later on in life. After I got out of there, I didn't stay sober, obviously, for a long time. I started going to raves and fucking taking X and doing balloons as nitrous oxide while I was dancing about techno music. Every Saturday night, I mean, it was religious. And it would be 11 o'clock at night to 7 in the morning. It was all a bunch of actor kids and Hollywood kids and kids that had time to kick it and go to underground parties. <laughs> you know, this back when they were illegal, you know, you'd break into a warehouse, set up speakers, and, and the party till the cops broke it up. And it was always an adventure, map points, trying to find where the party was. We'd wear these big hats, and we'd wear overalls, and we'd all just dance all night long. Actually, Ant brought me to some of my first underground events. The rave scene and stuff, that was just such a different world than where we had all come from. You had hip hop heads and surfers and hippies and gang bangers and uh, you name it. And they were all under one roof listening to the same music. I'd be out hitting on girls and running around doing my thing and AM would be X'd out with his head in the speaker, sweat pouring down his face till his like eardrums were blown out. The DJ was really this power center, this digital shaman, you know, presiding over the energy and the intensity of that experience. It was just so tribal. I met Adam in a moon bounce at a rave, and then at the end of the night, he was like, yo, what are you doing, man? Can I come kick it at your crib? And I was like, yeah, sure. I vividly remember lying in my bed, and, and there was a, a, a fucking a car alarm going off down the street, and Adam was beatboxing to the to the alarm. It was like, mm -hmm. And that's how Adam was, man. He had beats just coming out of his ass. And I remember he was rapping, and we all made a rap song together in the studio. Sounded like a white Karis One. But no, no, looked like a white dude, but sound like Karis One. You know what I mean? Like, that voice. The crew of people that we got together with wasn't on accident. We were people that didn't fit into the box that everyone else wanted us to fit into. Music hip-hop, graffiti, drugs. I mean, that was, the, that was the bond that held us together. He always wanted to be a DJ. We had two York stereos with like a wire, and he was like, I rigged up these two things so I could make mixes with these CDs. It was so ghetto. He lived with Ethan Brown, and he went out of town for one weekend, and Alchemist and AM broke the lock to his door went up and used his turntables all weekend. That's where it started. And Ethan would leave for long periods of time doing modeling jobs, and Adam would just be on the turntables the whole time. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Adam was like learning to DJ. He wasn't very good at that point. And, and Raka and Mike would just freestyle. This was almost like every day, probably for one summer. And then he came back from this one trip, and he was all pissed because I got better than he was. And he was like, you can't play with him anymore at all now. You know, he wanted to be, be better at it or whatever. If you don't have the real love of DJing, you just, you know, you can't do it because it's something you have to keep doing every day and, and messing around with when you suck and you sound like shit. I just remember him being completely obsessive, you know, about, about almost everything. You know, when he found the decks, it's just like that way he found his, his toy. Guy was like a robot dude, when it came to shit like that, you know? It was the drink that, that like quenched that thirst I had. His passion for it was like a genius level. I'm gonna just do this and this makes me so happy. I could be happy in this room with just records and nobody else. I would stop, everyone would stop and just listen to him get hyped on music. AM, how'd you get your start? Cause I know you worked with Crazy Town, but when did you officially start DJing?